We have a why, draft. Why did you name him Murphy? Um, I don't know. I just like the name. You, know, like you watched Interstellar? I did, yeah. Oh, okay. that, that was one of the Murphys I could think of. Okay, yeah, that's the one that came yeah. to mind for me. There's also um, Dresden Files, if you read, read those oh books. Oh, no. I'm familiar know. with them, but I haven't read them. Yeah. I've not really read them, but... Um, yeah, those were the main ones, I think. Murphy's Law. Murphy's yeah. Law, okay. He's strike Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> He's demanding for attention. Right. He'll be fine. Nice. Yeah. It's just not like there's expensive technical equipment lying no, around or anything like that. No, yeah, there's, there's nothing here. That there's easily no on the ground accessible for a dog <laughs> now. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, Lord. Do we have the cell board updated today? No, they haven't yeed me up yet. I don't know what Dakota was doing yesterday. Oh, wait, we have... They had the baby crying. Yeah, they added that. That's that was from Ke AC. Kevin got that uh, yesterday, I think. He put it on. Ooh. So how did, he, how did he get that one but not the yee? I think it may have already been on there, just not put on the panels, oh, maybe. Oh, okay, like okay. You have to add it he should be it. added by, by the producer himself. Yeah. Call Dakota. Tell him to unlock the <laughs> iPads. <laughs> You should actually. And then tell him to bring his dog. Mm. And then I can have a dog overdose. <laughs> you mean puppy potty? Yeah, puppy yeah. potty. Puppy LD's party. got a new LD's dog. LD's got we'll a new dog. Bring all the dogs bring out. Bring all yeah. the dogs. Real puppy what potty. What dog is that? LD's? Yeah. He got a chocolate Labrador. Oh, Everyone's God. getting chocolate everything, it yeah. seems. Mm. Oh, <laughs> thanks, production. <laughs> yeah, who needs this <laughs> 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 on there? So cute. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting, I haven't oh, Just pulled up on the computer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's Riles. Why am I doing it on my phone? You're right. <laughs> you have a computer in front of you. Go to L Deep. How many E's in L Deep? I want to say three. Oh, I think it's three. L Deep. There we go. Wow. It Wait. says two weeks left before we bring home. We gotta oh, okay. put up onto the screen. Oh my oh. god! See? That's such a little ball of cuteness. Oh. That's adorable. Yeah. Oh my god. He's just gonna grow up. Destroying everything in Audi house. <laughs> 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 I I yeah. had Labrador before yeah. when I were a kid. You see the eyes and it says, I love you and we're going to be no best way. friends. That's but no, that's it's, when, when it's the evil eyes. <laughs> when you get this little small package, you think, oh, you're the most yeah. adorable thing I've ever seen. But then you regret it when they start growing up. You better yeah. start saving money for, <laughs> you know, <laughs> having some account just to replace things that he destroy later. <laughs> I've gone through four pairs of headphones with Murphy. Wow. He oh. loves to eat headphones. Wait, what part of the it's headphones? Because Sennheisers the are delicious. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> I can't blame the dog. Well, I mean, come on. <laughs> but what just parts does he do? Does he bite the cables? No, it's just should the, be it's the earbuds. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. likes yeah. the earbuds. Yeah. Okay, because yeah. okay. yeah. my cats, they've been starting to chew on the cables, so I've okay. just been like watching them. Oh, yeah, he, he eats cables every now and then too, but he doesn't electrocute himself or anything like that. He's tough. He's I a think. tough boy. All these lichens. What do we got? So, today, important stuff um, for Admiral specifically. Yeah. Their life. Uh, Give us some stats. Some stats. They're going to win four games. That's what it comes down to. Oh, they're going to win they two games. Yoshimoto's yeah. got to lose four games. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's, I guess, the simple way. Is Yoshimoto, Dedene has to lose all four games they play because they're playing both series. And then we have tiebreakers. Ten seconds to go. Correct. Um, if, if that happens. Yes, if okay. that happens. Anything else Ready. happens, then we know our top three. There may be some stuff for seeding um, that could go into it, but who cares about seeding, end of the day? You're going into, like, I think, a double in bracket, so. Yeah. Seating doesn't really matter too and much. And Clutch Gamers said yesterday they want to fight Fnatic at the end of the day. Yeah. You're going to have to reverse them anyways. And even if you lose to them right away, yeah. then you can make that run through the lower bracket, which I imagine, you know, you get to the grand finals for a rematch and suddenly you've just won two best of threes in a row. Right. Feels good. Dyer's pick. Radiance pick. Okay. And it is best of three in the playoffs and best yes. of five for the finals. I don't know if it's best of five oh, for the okay. finals. I... We'll find yeah, out. We'll, we'll find, find out. out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're just here for the oh, ride, actually, much like the viewers. Yeah, Admiral game first before the uh, low tag. So, looking at some of these Admiral heroes, obviously they want to be grabbing their f comfort picks, if anything, because mm -hmm. they are going up against a very, very strong team. Earthshaker, Necrophos, Lina, will we, will we say these are their strong heroes? I don't think we oh. saw that much Lina from Admiral, Five did we? Seconds. Or am I wrong? I feel like I their opponents were normally playing Lina. Yeah, it was more like a clutch kind of thing. Yeah. A lot of alacrity Lina. But don't you think these all three first three heroes of Team Emerald Dola are gonna be tough against Pogna Nato Ward? Yeah, it's, it's that's annoying. True. Yeah. yeah, I guess that's annoying. The Shaker is not—you don't care too much because you're gonna get your Blink Echo off. 
You just have, you can't fissure from fog and then a yeah. blink echo wards up. Yeah, and I guess they pick Lena for the range and they throw the ward too. Dyer's Lena's a pretty good hero at destroying the Pugnal wards. Yeah. She's got pretty good attack speed. It's a flex hero too, so it can be support right now, it can be a mid. They kind of leave it open by picking it at that stage. Wow, look at that third hero from Detonator. Silencer. Huh. Interesting choice. Usually picked with some kind of like big initiator or big carry that benefits a lot. Like we've seen a lot with Meepo, we see it with the Batrider. Uh, these heroes that just want to go in but can get blown up easily, and that's where Global Silence is really powerful. Detonator that ran Sam H on the offlane Ogre before, right? This could be an offlane Ogre. Yes, they have. Um, yeah, I think it's a decent chance. I guess Pugna would have to be mid or safe lane, which is a bit unusual, but it's possible. Most Pugnas, I think, have been going into the offlane. How does laning normally go for teams that run Silencer? Have we seen um, them be particularly strong? I think we've seen a lot of them sort of strong. struggle in those off lanes. I think it's quite strong in this case. You but put it might be against a really strong off laner. I mean, it depends on how Admiral wants to play. It could be yeah. off lane Necro. It's pretty good against a Necro because he can't just spam Death Pulse when he has Arcane Curse on him. So Jakira gets picked up. That'll kind of put Lina into the mid lane. Interesting they picked the Lena first. I guess there's almost even a, a block pick as well, potentially. Could still be support Lena. Who knows? With Core Jakira, yeah. Could be uh, something crazy. I don't know. Emerald might have to balance their lineup a little Ten bit. Uh, they need a the physical go. damage. Yeah. I think I'm saying like a Void with the Jakira Lena could be good. Five seconds. Yeah. yeah. Um, good idea. Void. That's a hero that instantly jumps out to me with Jar Jar's other heroes banned out. The Weaver PL is... Th we've seen him play so many Weaver games. And Jar -Jar I think a couple... PL. But the Weaver ban is more or less necessary. He's he's played it so much you can tell that this is Jar Jar's hero. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, they don't really have a spirit vessel here on Admiral against Pugna. I'm a little questioning that. But I'm wondering what they want to pick up Jar Jar. What heroes have we seen him play? He's played Drow, I think. He's played Weaver. Ooh, pretty much all the typical curves that we've been seeing: yep. Terror Blades, the Morphlings. But we haven't seen him play PL, right? I think he played a PL Did he? recently, maybe. When I Weaver was banned, I want to say. Yeah, one I of feel like I recall. Yesterday or the day before, maybe. I don't think we've seen a PL. I could yeah, be wrong there, maybe. Not I'm not remembering man. the games. PL's banned anyway, too. So. Not coming out. Storm with Silencer. So there's your hero that benefits from the Global Silence. You can, you know, carry yeah. that can go charging in and then is susceptible to be blowing up and benefits a lot from having Global behind him. Makes the Orchid the heroes less needed the, um, as well. Amaro. Spells are quite slow, as you can see the uh, animate the casting type of the hero yeah. ice pot, and also Lina Light Strike Array, Even and Earth also Shaker. Earth Shaker. Yeah, they yeah. they need time to raise their hand, but Storm is just gone already. But if they manage to connect one of those stuns, then all the other ones are going to chain into it very easily. You can start out with a scythe, and then Fissure's long yeah. range, yeah, yeah, Ice yeah. Path's long range, I will say it's pretty long range. Whereas Disables on the side of Detonator not looking too strong. It's mostly just the Ogre and the Storm Spirit. I mean, Pugna and Silencer don't have built-in Disables themselves. Yeah, so it might be saying they want to get more of with their last pick. Just some extra lockdown, because they already technically have the Storm as their initiator that sort of jumps <laughs> in and gets the... <laughs> <laughs> some kisses. Oh, Murphy. He's kissing okay, what does Murphy think? It could be could be a Lycan maybe because <laughs> we got Murphy here. Where are the dog heroes? Lycan. <laughs> I think Lycan's the only dog so hero, right? So cute. Let me, wait, wait, don't, don't panda. Let me. selfie? Yeah, no. Dog selfie. Take a selfie with <laughs> Murphy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, not no, very good no. at looking <laughs> at cameras. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you're in like a smoke cloud there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're taking a picture of... Oh, you need to get one. Oh, Murphy, come on. Murphy. Oh, you're of the Ten TV, okay. Here you go. <laughs> Alright. Did you get it? <laughs> yeah. Five seconds. Yeah. Kill one. You're satisfied out. Last two bands is Facebook Huskar, needs. and surprisingly enough, Admiral banned <sighs> the Void themselves. Okay. So, no Void it. for them. That's oh, good carry for either team. I'd say it's better for Admiral than Detonator, but they must just not want it, or Jar Jar maybe just doesn't like playing it. No physical damage really from their side. Lena's haven't been going that build. Terror Blade? Yeah, Terror Blade sounds Dyer's decent. Dead. And Lifesteal. Oh, yes. Ooh, Lifesteal yes. bombs. We haven't seen these in a really long time. Oh. It's perfect. Apparently NA picked them, picked Lifestealer in their grand finals or something like that. But it's we. this is the first time we've seen it in this region. Maybe they watched the grand finals. Maybe. Who knows? I think their bomb of choice was an alchemist, I want to say. But Storm is definitely far more traditional. Ten seconds okay. to go. 
Mm. It was good though. There's not really anything on Admiral to be worried about. Like Jakiro ah, doesn't do anything. Earthshaker. I, I, I guess the fissure blocks will sort of disrupt the life stealer. If he gets his rage off. If he doesn't get a rage off, then again he suffers from the same thing as Storm Spirit as there is a lot of chain disable. Yeah. If one of the stuns comes through, then all of them are gonna come through. Um, later on in the game, Laguna Blade with Ags will it be an issue yeah, as well. We've been seeing that build more and more frequently. Yep. Well, is Murphy okay? I think he okay. he's getting agitated. <laughs> he's like, where's my lichen? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. He's he's good at jumping. <laughs> he is, yeah. <laughs> he's very excited to explore everything. He got, he's got a blink dagger. <laughs> so good. I'm good at jumping, too. Oh you don't good. need to jump Cyclops. <laughs> I jumped out the class when I was a student. Ha, huh, so safe lane Necrophos. Um, yeah. I I mean, Necro is the one here. Lifestealer does not match up well against in this draft. I think he's was always played a lot against Earthshaker, just because you go on the Shaker, if you ever get on top of him, you he can't stun you, you rage, you kill him. Um, always been good against Shakiro. I think pretty good against Lina. Um, so putting the Necro as a carry, as a one position, isn't too bad against Lifestealer, but you're also doing it against Pugnan Silencer, which is a bit scary, maybe. Yeah, typically we've been seeing more offlane Necro in these situations. Though there is no... Y used to be always a Nyx and a Pugna. Here you're only really mainly concerned about the Pugna. You can get the Yules regardless, because you'll be able to purge off the Global Silence, which I imagine will be valuable, and theoretically provide setup. I imagine Yule Scepters will be very useful this game in general, just to help set up for Storm Spirit Disables, Yules on the Lina. I'm still okay with Admiral's Draft, I think, even though they see this... Storm Spirit Life Stealer. I kind of like the Brewmaster pick quite a lot. It's not that easy to sort of lock down a Brewmaster. I mean, he the Life Stealer can eat him after the Brew Split, but the Brewlings, like, yeah, you can attack the individual Brewlings, but they're still going to do what they need to do yeah. in those team fights. Life Stealer's not a hero that's going to kill Brewlings at all. Later on, though, if he gets farm, he definitely can eat them. So. Alright. Into the game, first game of the day. Must this win game for Admiral. Murphy. Yeah, Bring very, very under pressure. Bring us the game, Murphy. <laughs> Send us in. I don't have the tennis ball anymore. <laughs> here, go. <laughs> go to the game. The game. Murphy, come here. Come here, Murphy. Okay. Wait, look. Like it doing. works. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just walked <laughs> across the screen. There we go. Into the game. Uh, I'm gonna do some quick intro before we go in. So, uh, Yoshimoto Detonator on the radiant side. The um, rating potato on Okamazai, Ben Hur on Storm Spirits, Luciano on the uh, Life Dealer, RR on La Silencer, and Sam Edge on Pacna. I'm gonna leave the dire side here. Yeah? Alright, thank you, Mr. Zyklops. We've got Jar Jar playing the Necrophos, Ryork playing the Jakiro, Boccarino on Brewmaster, James Z on Lina, and that leaves. Two slob on Earthshaker. Who's that? That's the guy we. That's uh, the guy we uh, interviewed, right? The mic clash right from the start here. At Admiral. No, we interviewed Two Shanks, who is also <coughs> known as something. Else. Nando. On from Admiral. It was Nando and Shanks. Wait, was that, that Admiral? Was a different team. That no, was that's that is. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember. Shanks was Rampo. Oh, Rampo. Oh, Two yeah, slop yeah, yeah, with yeah, a yeah, boot yeah. first. So he's no longer... He's Starting harass on that RR. RR moving away with 298 movement speed. Uh, but Two slop with a boot just trying to block him with a Fisher. RR was hit by a dual breeze as well. And uh, that is his first blood. The power of the yeah. boot first. Silence are just a very vulnerable support. You catch him, he's dead. Well... That's good for Admiral. They need to win this game. They need to win both of these games if they want to have a chance at making it through. It was a great start for oh. them already. The the shaker is um, boom backs. That's who it is. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. So uh, those those that was uh, the players from SGD Shanks. I was getting Shanks uh, uh, them mixed up with Admiral. So yeah. Rating potato picked up both by rune for his team. Uh, he got three mango on him. Surely going to be a very greedy four. My oh, comes in the game for uh, two slop. Start the gang and harass pretty fast on that Ben Hood detonator. They'll have another LSA Don't tell me that's going to be another kill for Team Admiral. Another life strike array. Wow. That what a gang right from the start. Oh Fairy Mark. fire has oh been used oh into the tree line. Uh, to the oh God. Uh, James C1. Nice. 
The uphill say. miss was just making sure Lena got the kill and not Shaker, you know? <laughs> it was just securing it by missing one. Which is so hard to do, so. That was a really nice gank. Gets the block, so LSA gets cast twice during it. And very good start for Admiral. A roaming Earth Shaker. I like the respect they're giving to Detonator as well. They're respecting that if you give Detonator a decent laning stage, that they'll be able to bring that through into a good mid game. So early pressure, slow down the momentum of the storm. You slow down the storm momentum, you also effectively slow down the life Yeah, and now they're all spamming spells on the Sam. It, it almost goes down, but RR detonates the standstills and just use the uh, Arcane Curse to force him go back. Not a fun lane for Detonator. The tri, tri lane down here, just leaving Volcarina by himself. Brumats are doing fine in a 1v2 lane. Well, he should be able to at least do okay in a 1v2 lane as far as getting XP. <laughs> Yeah, level 2 already for the uh, Bok yeah. Arena. Annoying little second. side pull, but he can contest this. Yoshimoto, they all go for the rune. Uh, very nice rune control. I kind of like the way that they bought the uh, regeneration rune. Uh, I'm sorry, not bought the regen rune. The boot on 2 slot yeah. in early game. He's chasing, he can just keep right clicking down with the boots advantage here. Let's see if he can block him. Got a block and TP out. Could have tangoed through, but I think he realized he's just going to keep getting chased if he doesn't go for that TP. That's expensive. Now he's going to walk all the way back to lane, while Shaker's in a position where he can still he can gank mid from here. He can go back bottom and gank. Shaker's in this really value position while Silencer's just out of the game for the next 45 seconds. Oh, getting blocked again. Ben her, but he's going to be fine. He's on the high ground, and James C was a bit too far from him. Down bottom, Sam H getting low, should be okay. One more death pulse, not gonna hit because of the decrypt. I didn't know that Twin Hand Dragon loved classical music. <laughs> I don't think it's him making the music. <laughs> oh, drop an ice part. Uh, Jaja's in, uh, dual breath comes out. Uh, Date pulse, can they kill with the aura? No. A bit too far. Mid lane getting harassed once again, and uh, Jamesy. Ben Her Yo's Mortal. Roaming Shaker, it's back. No longer, the, none of this dual lane meta, you know? And you can have a, these side laners like Enigma, or in this case, Brewmaster, who can 1v2. These four positions get to play like true fours. Yeah, Admiral are all over the map, middle and bottom. It's just top lane they haven't really done anything about, but it looks like they're confident with this Brewmaster that he shouldn't die. Drunken Jeez. Brawler gonna... 9-4 versus 16-4, I mean, if you're in a 1v2 lane, that's that's kind of winning it in a sense. Yeah, right? yeah. another fight comes yeah, out fine. at the bottom lane. Fisher. They start with the same old thing, and that is 4 0 for Team Admiral. Lena solo killed mid. Jamesy kills Ben here again with double null and some magic sick charges. This Not is quite Lina. bad, especially it's a solo kill. Yep. Lena, 5 already. Running out mana. But uh, we'll have uh, Null Talisman. So Bottle charges for James. He gets an instant arcane rune. His mid lane is in the back. Oh no, that's gonna be the date of waiting potato. He didn't know that Tuslop was around. Oh, he missed the LSA though. Tuslop is here, doing some body block first. He's faster, he got a boot. And now he block it with a Fisher. Yeah, an arcane rune, so really low mana cost on these spells. But waiting potato seems to be very tanky, but oh however, he died in the end. And that was such a value rune to find at that time, right as he got his bottle as well. Like, he gets the kill, he's low HP, he's low mana, and he gets his bottle out, gets a rune instantly. Just makes his lane super easy. Top lane, Luciano. Still level 4 compared to back Boccarino, level 5. Yeah, you're but out yeah. leveling the life sealer in this lane is brew. He's... I think the yes. life sealer had a support up here that was soaking up some of the EXP. Yeah. Was it I think it was but Ogre. I think the idea is even in these 2v1 lanes, you're meant to outlevel them because you deny more. And that's where, um, even though he's sharing the XP, you shouldn't... I mean, uh, the problem is it's a hero that has a strong laning, yeah, laning a stage. Point. But yep. the reason why most people don't do 1v2 is because even 1v2, you get outleveled. Yep. Two slop appears in middle lane once again. Another gang gonna come out for sure. But Raging Potato looking to stop it with the Ignite and also the Fire Blast. But however, his core hero is still being aimed in the middle. And it's Ben Her falls. Uh, and it might be him too. Because the rates of Team uh, Arrow is still diving inside. Light Strike Arrange is going to connect. Uh, here comes the Ice Part. Zero, 7. It's brutal. They just. 
destroying them here in the early game. Every single lane at this point is kind of being won. Uh, top lane, I would say, is a draw, even though Life Sealer is out farming Brewmaster. I think just because of the nature of it being a 1v2 and Brewmaster already being level 6, you consider that a lane that's gone fine. And then, yeah, bottom and mid being won by Admiral. Win, win, draw for three lanes. The um, Yoshimoto RR walking away a bit to the shrine. He should go back to the shrine, but he kind of worry if they can get his first win. Oh. Uh, I mean, first kill. That was a big win, forcing out the shrine. Didn't even lose your shaker. Well, this is going poorly. <laughs> I wonder if Life Sealer changes his build now because. But what what can a Life Sealer do though? Because he, well, he can't just run into the fight. Right. So I typically, whenever you go for these Storm Spirit bomb strats, then you want to get as active early on as possible. As the Reaper side. Uh, oh man, just enough to kill the ne uh, Necroforce on the Pugna. Pugna. But if you're falling behind early on, like. Storm is, then mm. it's possible that you just go for a greedy or life stealer build, go for something like Radiance because you know that your team's yeah. not going to be ready to fight earlier on. Are we expecting Admiral to maybe pick up some four stuffs for this life stealer as well this game? I mean, I think all throughout the tournament we still haven't seen that many de defensive Radiant items been picked up by the supports. Back. Just classic <laughs> SEA. Everyone wants to be a carry, you know? Yeah. <laughs> they want other items. Yeah. Apparently, four staff isn't worth it. I nowadays. mean, both sides need four staff too. So many spells that can just, you know, ruin your games without four star help. Uh, ben her flying in, but he didn't know they were going to grab, but it was real waiting behind him. And suddenly, two oh. slob shows up. Damage over time. Stick it. Oh. Gets it. Oh. Ben her. <laughs> he just Eight come minutes. back to lane and wanted to go for a Lena kill. That Lena kill would have maybe been at least a small little morsel of food to help him recover, but. Eight minute four death already for Ben Hur. Yeah. What is uh, Silencer's level right now? Three and a half. Oh jeez. Can't really do anything though. I mean, every time he shows his face, they just they just run at him. Yep. Necro's already got a hood, so he's just unkillable down bottom. <laughs> we are just gonna be taunting about a Pugna. Admiral started the game very solid, and now comes in again for Daja. Here come the dead paws. Maybe another Reaper size on the sandwich, maybe. You're still on a cooldown, but meanwhile, not a gank on the rating potato in the middle lane by the uh, JMC. It's just so hard because Lena's getting every rune now because of all these kills and how far ahead Admiral are. They have complete map control or at least river control. So with arcane runes, haste, invis, whatever it is, Lena's just going to get even more kills. It just Zero, helps you snowball. Ten. Sam Edge uh, trying to uh, uh -huh. uh, defend his tower, spamming nether blast, and here comes the uh, ice part comes in. Uh, Locked out on two. Jaja goes in. Yoshimoto dropping quite low. RR down with the date poles. Still have a Reaper side. So better be careful. Just one feature. And oh, that's what I'm talking about. Here comes the Reaper side on the core. But he just pump up his magic stick and he's going to be fine. No, not fine. But at least he didn't die because of the Reaper side. But however, he died anyway. Double kill for Jaja. Still cannot find any single kill for that tornado. Are they wake up yet? Gotta say, props to Rio. He's been landing fantastic ice paths this this game. Right Something that I didn't really think about was the long range support disables coming out from Admiral, the fissure and the Radiant ice path. You can sort of catch these heroes days. when they don't expect it from yeah. such a long range. Do you know that it takes like 0 0.5 seconds for the path to reach its full extent? And he just, he calculated that timing so good. Dude, I gotta start playing CSGO before I join Dota matches apparently. <laughs> 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 yeah. Get that aim practice in, right? You know? <laughs> do some deathmatch and something like that. Yeah. <laughs> No, nope. because this is a slaughtering. <laughs> <laughs> the gold lead isn't as crazy as uh, I've seen, like, shutouts at 10 minutes. Like, I feel right. like I have seen, like, those 8 to 10k gold leads, but... Let me see that XPM graph, though, if you don't mind, Observer. <laughs> We've, uh... Oh, uh, that's that's you, champ. Oh, you're Observer, hit, hit champ? The, uh, oh, hit the F6. Me. He wants okay. to see some graphs. <laughs> I want to see some graphs. Oh, all right. Yeah. Sorry. Alright, now hit me with that F7. I didn't even know that I'm the observer <laughs> all along. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You're doing a good job. Oh, sorry. Alright, for 4,000 <laughs> EXP. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, yeah. I think it's I'll more, you look attention. at the levels and then you see like some really underleveled great Yeah. yeah. Ah, what are Luciano. we seeing? What are we going to see on Luciano for his build? Like, what are you wanting uh, to build on this lifestealer? Seems like he's the only hole for the team now. It's either Armlet yes. or Radiance, I guess, and I don't know. He's not queued anything up, so I don't think he's decided. 
Wait, I think hey. if he if he dies, then he may buy an armlet with the unreliable gold. <laughs> Otherwise, he's gonna hold oh, out. Oh, Primo's flip okay. on top. I'm not sure what happened here. They tried but to use the, the first time out he made it. They're just gonna go for Ben her. That might be just to survive that primal split, but we should take a look at the bottom lane. What happened here? It's Sam Edge getting surrounded by three hero once again. They're just gonna go in here, come dropping a nice part the insider, diving behind the tower. Spam order spell, Reaper side up to finish him off. That is all blind in for Storm. Maybe a first kill coming out from Team Death Tornado. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Killing sprees already. The uh, um, killing spree broken by Ben Her. Um, ever so slight recovery, I guess. Lena's gonna catch Storm bottom though. Oh, Dragon Slave Laguna. Yeah. The Observer Ward scouting him out. <laughs> he pings right after he says enemy is vision. What yeah. are these odds? 9.34 for Detonator, 1.04 for do, I, do you guys disagree? No, I, I don't disagree. The one hero doing well is a Life Sealer. Life Sealer is pretty garbage as a hero. Yeah. Like it's very yep. situational. Uh, I think it could have worked this game if the lanes didn't fall apart, but. The lanes Link? are in shambles. Yeah, if you're having a shitty early game and you go life stealer, I think it's a terrible, terrible position to be in. Uh, it's not a comeback hero, it's more like a snowball hero, so yeah. it's just Oh, interesting. Jaja's going straight into a Guardian Greaves against Got caught Sound. once again! Rating Potato getting blocked by the uh, Fisher. The dire so might want doesn't look like they want to go. The two supports are a little bit scared, Storm might come in and kill them. It is going to be that armor rush. I think this makes more sense than the Radiance just because you're so far behind. Your way back in the game is getting kills, so we're going to see him get armlet and then just constantly look for infest ganks with the global silence, which is still so far away. He's level four and a half. It's twelve and a half minutes. Um, but realistically, that's how. That's your win condition. It's just Thank getting kill after kill. Every really dive in shot for that Bocarina, calling out for its teammate. The first one who teleport down. Oh, cancel, Bocarina. Oh doing. my, Bacarino is still inside game. the tree line. TP out? Everyone just... He's the fattest hero on the team and they want to gank a brewmaster. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. desperate. They, they know he's alone. They want another kill. They want to just go for the one person who's by himself, but the problem is he's got a TP escape, even when his brewmaster split was on cooldown. And Ogre had to back off because of the TP. That brewmaster, just like me on a Friday night, calling out friend and then they cancel after that. <laughs> <laughs> now let's go for that Raging Potato. Multicast comes out, the Echo Slam, not that much damage, but that's just to stop. Uh, however, two slot in not a good positioning right now, but James is still back him up with a Light Strike Array behind. Can't really dive. Storm against this Yules now, they have a catch for the Storm. Makes playing Dota so much more difficult for... for Luciano! As if it can get any harder for Storm yet. Yeah. Such a bad laning stage. Now he, he has his ultimate. He's like, okay, I can't get stunned now. Let's go catch this guy. Bacarino yeah, will slow down with open wound. If they can kill this one, no primal split. Oh, still got a primal split. Uh, now these teammates uh, teleported down. Nobody cancelled his call yet. They all just gonna be here to counter, and it was the easiest counter of their life. Uh, life dealer, however, still being greedy, trying to take down the tower. He will be caught uh, <laughs> in a reaper size. They're trying to deny it. Is he oh gonna no. go for it? Oh, oh he's oh. gonna get it. Rage, he can't rage TP, there's a Reaper. He can't he TP out. Fest. I don't know why he's on. Fest Reaper side, uh, waiting oh for no. you. Storm goes oh, in. He gets oh, in. oh, there we oh, go. Okay. Now that's an Uber right oh, there. Oh, but here comes Lena. James, he's there. Oh, no. Coming from uh -oh. behind. Lena strike from the side lane. Reaper side for Storm. <laughs> Oh, and that pays the price. That, 45 that's 45 seconds. That's very tip worthy. I'm glad to see the tips coming to play. You're stomping <laughs> this hard. If you're not tipping the enemy, you're doing something wrong. That's just a straight up misplay if you're not, so. Earth Shaker plays. has a blink pre-15 minutes. He is huge. At least Silencer's level 6 now. So he's been spending all this time while his carries are dying constructively, I suppose. Oh my. Yeah. What happened here? And that was the first Infest, so they're going to have to wait 60 seconds for the cooldown. Like, they've got Global Silence, they've got the armlet now, but they'll need an Infest. I think it is both the draft, the execution, and the determination too. I mean, yeah, they got to win today. That's how they go through. Detonator? No, uh, Admiral. I mean, Detonator yeah. already got in. That's what I mean for the determination. Like they're 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 so much more motivated for Admiral. Yeah. You know, they talked to us yesterday, and they like, they learn you're like, oh no, you guys got to win some more to advance. So they they know they have to win today. This is that that kind of mental is such a big difference in this game. There's a chance for them to advance, and they are looking to try and figure out 
They can, you know, you, if you crush them 2 0, Deadnay is more likely to go 0 2 in the next series, it's too. True. So you got to not just win this series, but demoralize them. Exactly. Tip them as often as possible. Have an 18 to 1 kill lead. No, 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 they won't tip as much. Like, we've seen the C, ga the C game so far. Not as much tipping as NA. <laughs> NA is about tilting. Yep. CA, I don't know what our goal is well, when it comes to C tipping. players are just less tilty, tiltable, I guess. They have um, the highest Because they don't score. feel anything because they're numb after pubs. Yeah, I mean, they... They're, they're very emotional, they rage, but they never give up. Like in NA, they give up. You, players know that if you tilt someone, they're going to give up. In SEA, you flame them whenever, they're going to try twice as hard. Oh, no. Red Team Potato with a life dealer inside, looking to find the second kill in this game. Yes, they can, bit by bit. They're just going to have to do Lina's that to the back. Uh, oh, However, if they trade oh. that ogre, uh, that Earth Taker with their core heroes, it's not good at all. They might have to fall back to the high That's ground a little bit. Such an expensive save, though, like using a global to just get a support kill. That's not great. That's yeah, sure. but everything is great now when they were so far behind. Storm, just do it. No, they got him with the Yules. They had a war? No, oh, the creeps on I top. Guess? Oh yeah, help. I missed that. Sorry. Oh, he was in vision of the tower. He was just ever so slightly non fog at top lane when he went for a TP out. Bottom. Yeah. Yeah, they basically cashed out Global Silence for that kill as opposed to being able to save one of your cores in a gank situation. I think at all this right. point, Dire, they just have to all itemize for Life Stealer and then game is won. Like, Necro is doing that by getting this Greaves so he can get a, get rid of the Global... I mean, you're itemizing for Life Stealer by being able to get rid of Global Silence. Right, yeah. If you can cast Ghost Drought, you're unkillable, which is what Greaves gives you. Lina has the Yules um, as a way of getting out of it, although it isn't really a guaranteed save. I wouldn't be surprised to see the supports get the four stuff that Denali mentioned, Ghost Scepters, um, items that will just allow them to kite Life Stealer around. It seems like that Sam is already know that he's being surrounded by Admiral oh, he uh, shows players. Himself. Uh, he shows oh himself. Dear. He plays a partner ward. His, his support needs to teleport down. Uh, and his life dealer, Reaper side, die real quick. However, the uh, two slop gone. At least they get something back from this. Have fun trying to bust yeah. Down radiant structures now. yeah. Trouble brewing. King of one, one for one in this position. You, you take those. I think he was hoping to fissure and then blink out, but the Nether Ward cancelled his blink. Oh, and then yeah. Life Stealer was like, oh, sweet. Free Shaker kill. Bottom tower oh, no. Going for a Yules first on Shaker, it looks like, after his blink, that is. Get rid of the global. The plane I think a Ghost Scepter would almost be more valuable. Bought back for Sam. Ed did looking yeah. to do something in here for true. Oh, Sam is just playing the partner water already. James has already got life, but looks like the. Uh, Necro Force is going to get sucked out by Sam. It's sick kill streak ended by him. That should be the compensate of his buyback. Okay. Um. Lena did kill Storm again. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's okay. I guess killing the On Necro. a higher ground rating, Potato Fire Blast on. Mudokan comes out. They're too slow. Waiting for support. That comes in. RR. A little bit too slow. They comes in too. They might die oh, too, macro. too. Goodness. Oh my. They didn't even care that it's high ground, low ground. <laughs> they just can't kill anyway. Jamesy, 4 to 22 game score. It's time to shut down all the map control of Team Detonator after such a big lead. Uh, the mid game the transition. Gank. Oh, it goes in uh, with the first time using Bomb with the Global Silence and killed that leader. This is where they want to come back here. They got two kills and, and I'm pretty sure that's a big swing. That's a huge streak being ended on the Lina. Wait, but who got the kill? Pugna got it, unfortunately. Oh, okay. But it's okay. It's not the not the best, not the worst. And they're gonna tip Jamesy back. All right, now they're learning from NA. They're getting better. <coughs> Time to go for the tower. Need to fight back a little bit because they only get one tower, while the um, team Arrow get four towers. A bit surprised to see Lina Whoa. go for the potato. Red Team Potato was a little bit mispositioned, but however, his teammate is behind him. With Storm flying in, trying to catch that re all, killing one by one. Nice one, and they just have to fall back and get the tower in this. Yeah, they're yeah, making it work. Lina is respawning. Echo oh. Slam for the first time in this game. Perfect positioning, jumping in, Blink Dagger, Reaper side, and kill with the Hard Stopper Aura too. However, they still have Red Team Potato left. Uh, just to be additional prize that uh, U Scepter comes out. And a light strike array, three down. 
Damn. Well, they're both slam. dead for a minute. How much net worth did Admiral give away with those initial kills, though? Uh, it was like three to four K, maybe. I think the gold lead was like eight or nine K and went down to like five, five K ish, and now we're back yeah. up to seven plus. So I guess there was a nice little injection of gold there to, to detonate yeah. But then when they're retreating, Admiral comes back and picks them off. So it's just a matter of if you're treating. It's just you're storm down bottom. In trouble? Yeah, not really good. I yeah. don't know what he was doing. He was bowling in aggressively for a kill, it looked like. I, I he don't had know. a regen. Oh, he was trying to be a bit greedy. He has a regen rune. So I think he wanted to pop that, but got caught. I can't even see him in yeah, the radar. Yeah, played himself. Just <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have it for the next fight, I suppose. I think he bowled in from far trying to like snipe the, Jak the Jakiro and just missed the ball lightning damage. Yeah. He also had like. no mana when he came down from the Yules too. Yeah. So I think he, used, he blew everything pretty much. Oh. Uh, it's time to go to the high ground, it seems. Storm still out for around 15 seconds. And Jar Jar start attack on the mid tier 3 tower. Yep. It's a bit hard to push up high ground when these heroes are respawning. I'm s I, I must, at some point I'm expecting them to take Roche, but then again their, their lineup for Roche isn't that impressive. They have zero push, zero Roche, um, and that is I think the one concern for Admiral. Um, Storm oh, Lifestealer oh, are just going to scale way better than Oh, no. going if they can end the game early, they have HP already for the life dealer. Here comes the global silence, dropping quite low for the Negro Forza. Maybe this is regroup once after this. Take the top tier two tower first and start the fight again. But it depends on if Detonator just gonna charge before the tower goes down. There's no global if they do want to fight anyway. They used it to save the life stealer. Fire blast, Multicast comes out. The Brewmaster half HP. He still have his primal oh, split jumped in. A clap first, and then a primal split they for the uh, Ogre Magi. Life dealer mid. Oh Storm my goodness, and that was Earth Shaker, Echo Slam damage, and also the silence that goes down. What a risky bet okay. by Team Emerald, oh, taking this such an early game lineup uh, and oh, hoping Storm. that they can Storm. end the game in time. Oh. They actually oh. did it. 80 seconds. He has oh, no. buyback though, so if they wanted to commit for buyback, this would be the time to do it because yeah. Admiral still has a buyback. On the Grimmer Cave on Luciano on the front line, start attacking on the Jaja. Where is Storm? In. He needs to come He's in. He a lot of damage. Bend her. Oh, no. Get you, uh, Zepta. Oh, Life no. Strike Array. Where oh, no. Welcome from Team Admiral. Give him the tip. And it's dominating. Give him the tip. Oh my god. Where's the tip, guys? <laughs> Every time they see him, uh, he's always on cooldown. Uh, cooldown for his play. For his death, I mean. And oh, leaving Luciano, Luciano oh, okay. in front of the three heroes of Team Arrow, he will be brought down real quick. Sam Edge is gonna buy some time with Decryptify. And Deadpool will surely have him down. Nope, he's still. And he's just gonna come out at the same time with Sam Edge to suck some HP out. Seems to be a good play One. in the first. But seems no to be the yet, end. But has griefs very soon. Light Strike oh. Array. Ready to be used for Jamesy. Raging Potato obviously sacrificed himself for the life stealer. Oh man. This <laughs> Lena build is just so good with the cast range, having the talent and the Aether Lands. That was how they initially killed Life Stealer mid, was just Lena stunning from fog. It's the same idea as Shaker and Jakiro, or more Shaker, where you just fissure from trees and they don't see you. When you can initiate out of fog, a hero like a Life Stealer who has rage, or a hero with a BKB, just doesn't get a chance to use those items or use those spells. Yeah, that was, that's a very good point. That's actually what happened here in the first game, Detonator. 24 minutes in, not think much. That's the graph. Oh, dude, the Brewmaster had a Midas this whole time? Yeah, he had They've been catching ages. Storm, yes, very nice vision. They catch two flops. But let's see if Storm can just get away from that. Global, Global Silent comes out to save Storm. But it's Raging okay. Potato once again that he will go down in the middle of Team Admiral players. This is sort of the issue you see when teams... No, Pugna on the high ground. Oh. Being chased. Pugna, okay. what is he doing here? Bruce was chasing He does what he wants. Being Cyclops. chased by the Primal Split. Coming up for Storm, Ice Sparta, Luciano have to turn on the Rage. Yeah, they don't have the best late game on Dire or the best building push, but they're just killing heroes. And then, you know, they'll, they'll kill buildings over time. Uh, looks like Silencer is at the He's enemy bounty shop. Rooms. He's getting yeah. the courier. What a player, double is bounty room. Is that No, he tried to snipe the enemy courier. <laughs> he <laughs> does know, like five damage uh, to uh, it. No, Lena, Lena's coming for him. He's just yeah. like, where is this, oh, where's no, this guy? He doesn't have it. He should have TP, but he didn't have one. Okay. There's Sounds a shaker. He's gonna run into Storm is here. Look for chance, maybe. Catching the Earth Shaker. Yeah, yeah right. they need some kill like this. 
Any Q helps now. So Any this, single penny. Yeah. This this sort of the weakness that we're seeing of this Storm Life Stealer. Life Stealer not really in the meta. We can kind of see why. There's a lot of things that can sort of kill him off here on Admiral. Storm needing a good lane to be that that mode of transport for a life stealer, but he had a really shitty lane against Jamesy. I remember last year that life stealer was so popular. In every game we have life stealer. And in every game we had four stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, the hero received a handful of nerfs to his laning stage, like open wounds range got nerfed over and over again. Yep. And overall, the popularity of the bomb, uh, I don't know, partners also, they yeah. fell out of the meta. Yeah, Puck, I know Puck was one of them. Yeah, Puck don't see Puck anymore. I, mean, I guess Storm is okay. Life cycle Ray coming out from a tree line. Oh, God. And definitely going to be <laughs> another ward. Jamesy, very close to going Jamesy. down there. He had like five health on him. He'll be the next one. I don't think he's going to make it. My boy Raging Potato has sacrificed his life <laughs> pretty much every single time. Oh. Oh. He will go yeah. down with the, the hard stopper. The hard stopper aura is really ridiculous skills. Lena survived that nether ward on three health. Wow. Calculated. I was yes. wondering. He was waiting before the Laguna Blade. I mean, and I was like... Uh, well, what's the what's the big rush? Yeah, he you know? knew the damage. That 974 damage from Nether Ward. Yeah, he, he knew the math. He did the Dragon Slave, and then he waited for a little bit of HP regen to kick yeah. in, and then he went okay. for the Laguna Blade. So, a couple of big things. Desso finished on Life Stealer. Global is up, so they're going to go for a quick yeah, they, gank. They're just going to keep hunting. Hopefully, it's successful this time. This should be a very fast one because Desso is complete on Life Stealer. So, hopefully, they get it. But yeah, they're going to have to blow Global for it. Depending who they find, too. How they're oh, they, get, they might run into the whole team. Oh, dear. Ideally, they get either Lena or Necro. You, I don't think you want Necro. You can't kill him, can you? Uh, and if you with a Vortex damage, you may be quick enough, but I, think I guess he only has so. three points in Vortex. Yeah. But they're oh. grouping up now all the time for Admiral. Exactly. We'll never ever split. And the Delete Stick is now finished up on Lena, so pure damage Laguna. That's going to be painful. And how many methods of Dispel do they have right now for Global Silence on the side of Admiral? Hit F5 for me, Cyclops, if you don't mind. Alright, so they got Greaves for Char Char, Necro. Uh, There's Yules for Earthshaker. There's yeah. Yules for Lina. Bakarino has a Aeon Disc ready to be assembled whenever he wants. So team, they aiming for that Ogre Magic, but caught once again. This is another time that Team uh, oh Detonator seems to have four players. Before didn't the big really defense. want to Reaper that kill, but I think this. Took him a bit too much trouble. Mm. Top tower Here goes the tower. Yep. Mm. Yeah, mid tower. Yeah, goes down. But how they're gonna attack the barracks? This is the this is the big point. One right click at a time. That's <laughs> <laughs> really all there is to it. Uh, they haven't. Lena has an items for physical damage. Brewmaster went for this Aeon disc. I, I thought he, at least somebody I thought might go Bought for back somebody sort of flying in and aiming for the Earthshaker first. The Earthshaker used on himself and he's just gonna buy a little bit of time. Maybe he land and just land the Echo Slam. Echo Slam just to oh stop no. that Ben Hur. Oh. Ben Hur was strict. Aura. Stay near the Greaves. Oh my Stay goodness. near the Greaves. And it's Olga Magi getting oh. Scepter. The, the it was a Tornado but a promo split. Oh, somebody late. stay inside Olga Magi was the uh, life stealer. But without a Storm Spirit, they won't be able to do anything that much. Greaves Aura is one of those mega underrated parts of this item. If, yeah. you, if you're the low health and they've used all their spells and they can't finish you off, it's like you just suddenly become so much tankier. But Blast comes out and also the Life Stealer. Aeon Disc is done. Even if he have the Desolator, but it's just not enough damage to deal with any heroes of Team Amaral. They're pushing very hard, they're trying to take down the first set of racks. And I think they can this time around. Got to be careful though. They don't have many spells to fall back to. There's no echo. There's no split. There's Fire no blast. sight. How are they gonna kill Bakarino though? They got storm flying in my storm spirit. Running out mana. Already one hit on the Bakarino. Oh, Come on, Light Swing! Hooray! Hooray! Uh. hooray! <laughs> that storm died that game, and uh, next <laughs> one's gonna be his teammate. Not really a hooray. Got light, light God. This lead is out of control. <laughs> 
19 1 11. <laughs> Holy cow, Jamesy is just getting kill after kill. He's, he's saving his Yules for this Storm Spirit. Oh, yeah, he's just sure. like, oh yeah, Storm's coming, guys. You just wait. My Yules is ready every single time. Yules, LSA, and now it's going to be Laguna. Just deletes him. Such an awkward game for Detonator. What is going on, actually? Look, this is a great game for Admiral because they've got one more game and then they've basically filled out their prerequisites and Detonator might be tilted going into low tech. That's the play. That's that's Admiral's dream right now. We've got some push now. Necro's hit level 20, plus 70 attack speed. Guess what's happening. So I'll, I'll hop out a bit here. Uh, Luciano at the bottom lane, a man fight with two slot. <laughs> he turned on the open wound on two slot and decided to run away. Yeah, he made a right decision because Jaja ja -ja is here. Go try and slow him down just a little bit. If they Ooh. find him, he's in trouble. Oh, the night time. He didn't oh, rage. Oh, he's good. But I mean, Rage doesn't help if Necro finds you, I guess. Yeah, the guy went for uh, plus 20% okay. goes around slow. We can have a Ags on Jar Jar in a sec. He's waiting for the courier to go back to the base. So That'll be pretty nice because there's just fights happening constantly, so yep. low cooldown. Mm -hmm. Honestly, just looking at Detonator, I'm, I really don't know what they could do at this point. You know, this this is this is the right time to try and go yeah. for those little pickoffs, but I don't think Admiral's gonna give them the time of day for it. Lying in for the Storm Spirit, catching the uh, Bacarino, but he's still, out of mail. he has oh, no. the uh, best for region. Oh, okay. Ooh, that was close. I think the Glimmer Cape actually denying vision, saving him a bit there. Gotta say, for a lot of the game, we've seen Ben Hur sort of like zip in until he runs out of mana. Yeah, he's usually reliant on the lifesteal being able to finish off kills, and they're just hoping that it's a pickoff situation. But like times like that, they're just gonna oh. wrap them up. They strike from behind. I love it, and they're going in. Uh, release a life dealer. Here comes my baby. Leave him in the middle of the fight, aiming for that TMC. Dot one. Uh, he's running away. Oh Kill God. the baby. <laughs> The baby, the baby being is punished dead. by the Luciano and the race of team and Detonator will be punished too, I believe, because they're all dropping low and Jada is cleaning them up uh, as well as two slop. Life still are brought hey. back. He's they actually didn't have detection. The, the Glimmer Cape just saves Lena there and oh, oh dear. one level of blade only. Yeah, I mean I don't think it matters. I think they killed Lena if they oh have no. detection, but life stealer TP to the shrine and they saw him. Oh dear, Rage uh, is there. He may just infest a creep. I think they're just going to keep him busy while they take his racks. Yeah. No, man. I don't think he could do anything. He just... Man fight, drain some HP back, get into the full HP creeps, and he'll be survived for a while. Let's hit these buildings here. Storm's going to be back to full mana in a second. May look to make some plays. Still kind of stuck in there? I think you just, just ignore him at this point. Scythe is up, so if he tries to rage away... They will probably keep him still with that. That you know, staying in the creep like that, is just like me, be on a wrong plane for the flight. <laughs> Goes in for the ogre Matai. flying out for the storm spirit. Oh, They're nice all dropping low. They might win this one, to be honest, but no. They ben still hurt. couldn't get Jamesy. This is actually the proof oh, of the uh, meta heroes and non-meta heroes. The storm buyback got two kills. Yeah, but. It shouldn't matter as far as the outcome of this game. So Lina just buys back, wants to end. Luciano is dead at this game. 33, 34 minutes only. About to end, to be honest. I don't think that's, on, that's something they can do at this point. Brewmaster's having fun. Oh yeah. He's just flexing the, the split. Oh, Finally a real split comes out and that's going to be the eliminations of the Sam Edge, the partner. Flying up oh, they got the Yules. Spirit. He didn't cast it fast enough. So many times that Ben Hur get tricked like this. Why don't he learn something? I don't think it's a matter of learning something. Right. They're hoping that they get enough pickoffs, even though they're dying. Their net worth is so low, it doesn't really matter. So if they get enough pickoffs on Admiral, they'll start to accumulate that net worth and try and trigger that comeback mechanism. But it just every time. They go for these kills. Here is an Admiral survive on a sliver of HP because they have all the items necessary to survive these little little ganks coming out from Detonator. These Yules, Ghost Scepters, Glimmer Capes just kiting around. And hey, Life Stealer, still not a hero that's relevant. Although I don't think this game is really a good showing of that since uh, it was kind of lost before the... It could have been any carry and the game was already lost out yeah. of the laning stage. Yeah, that laning stage was devastating for Detonator. Boombox Shaker, what a player. This guy just owned it up. He's roaming everywhere, getting kills for his team. 
That's it. Game number one, 35 minutes in. 54 to 13 game scores is Amaral Dota victorious. The dream is coming alive. Got one more win for Admiral. And then, again, they, fi they filled what they needed to do. And it all comes down to detonators and how they play after this. Whew, they got to get yeah that next game and at least put themselves in a position where they could advance through some tiebreakers. We can't hardly wait for the next game, man. They played so well there. That's like one of the most well executed games we've seen in a while. Um, I like there's nothing really to fault them for. Like, I was impressed by their early game rotations as well, like especially the Shaker, just consistently ganking up mid, making sure Jamesy wins that matchup against Storm, delaying the Storm as well for that mid game. Practically crippled Brenher. Tuslop got 31 assists from yeah. the game. 31 assists. This game was him and Lena were the two stand-up players, yeah. I'd say, for sure. I mean, I, everyone play. played well at the end of the day, but they those two set the tempo. What a play. Well, yeah. uh, end real quick. Uh, we still have a long way to go today, it seems. Um, yeah, next game, also important for Admiral. They have to win the next one, too. If they lose the next one, then it's gone. Um, we're just going to go take a break for maybe around five minutes and we will be back for game number two of this first series of the day in King's Cup 2.